them and not date is not lost count. Um, day number. What am I guessing? No, I don't even know. Maybe no. Seven days, six days. I don't even know. We'll know from the vlogs, I think. Uh, and yeah, I'm leaving Banff today. I'm waiting for the Banff airport to to get me back to well to get me back to Calgary airport, and then I'm flying to Toronto with Air Canada. Uh, I've had some breakfast in the hostel, but it's I, I am kind of glad to not be in the hostel anymore. It's just you can't sleep in there. And if you you haven't got your own private bathroom and you haven't, um, yeah, you just you've got other people's house like. I was with people that were just snoring so loud, and for me, I that just I'm I was a light sleeper for once, and uh, I usually sleep do anything, but I was a light sleeper, and it was just a nightmare, and I was just up all hours. But now on to Toronto Airbnb, and then I'm staying at the Hilton in Times Square as a final hurrah before I go back. Uh, Champions League draw today. We'll see what that throws up given I'm going to be working in Glasgow and Celtic are in the Champions League in around October, November, December time. So let's hope they get like a big, they're in pot four, so let's hope they get a big draw. And yeah, so today's just probably only going to be a short one because I'm only traveling. I get to Toronto about half past seven and then there's a two hour difference. So yeah, let's hope this day isn't completely dull and tiring. See what I mean about this being like bloody gap year central? Guys and the bloody... I just can't cope with this. It's like the in-between is two all over again. To that place. Apparently, this is called Death of Eli. I'm not sure. I'm not really big on art, but yeah, very nice place. And as oh, you can see me in there, so sweaty to get here. Like, what a journey that was. Right. Okay. Um. So. Yeah, I made it from the airport to. Cool words. Yeah. From no, I made it from the airport, Pearson Airport, to Union Station. Step number one. Then step number two that I was given was to get from Union Station two stops to Queen Station. So I asked for a ticket there and the guy was pretty confused and I think he was enjoying the fact that I wasn't sure where I was going. He definitely seemed to revel in the fact that I wasn't aware where I was going. Anyway, I managed to exchange some money, get a ticket there. Two stops, checked on that one. Then it was get a streetcar seven stops so it was essentially a straight road but you know i had to get seven stops turns out the streetcar's quote busted so they're repairing it so i looked on maps i managed to connect to a starbucks wi-fi it was just a straight road so i was like yep i'll just have to walk it it'll be about 15 minutes but again it was it, it was now dark busy like london but i was a bit like oh no um but through the sweat and panic. I just don't know, like when you're in a new city, it is just not a nice feeling to not be 100% aware where you're going, but I suppose with smartphones it's not as bad. But anyway, I'm here, I'm in the Airbnb, it is a really stunning place, and I was surprised about some of the negative reviews that started appearing on here, but from my first impressions is it really is nice. Elaine and Greg um, seem nice, I've only really spoke to Elaine, but there's a little party going on, I believe a couple are leaving, whether they're friends or family. Um, and there's another guest here from Guildford and another from uh, Anglesey. So they're all downstairs mingling. I'm just trying to get my stuff together. 
Um, I'm not going to unpack too much because I'm only here uh, for like two days now and then I fly out on the third day. So, what else has been on my mind on that? Um, I watched on the flight, I watched a film called Hello Destroyer, a hockey film, terrible. I was I kept falling asleep after about an hour. It was, it was really, it wasn't well shot, it was really dark scenes and on a glared screen was pretty bad. And I started watching Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and Marvel's not really my thing either. So that was better than the hockey one, but it wasn't too great. Um, and yeah, upcoming now I've got uh, some reading to do ahead of Rex and Woking. And then it's the big build up to Mayweather McGregor. And I'm, I still think it will be Mayweather. Mayweather potentially inside six rounds. I don't think it'll be one or two rounds for either fighter. But whatever happens, it will still be a marker in history, um, wh whichever way the result goes, especially if McGregor wins. So that is, it's the 24th now, 26th. So, I know this one's been a bit chaotic, it hasn't been that good. A lot of me talking, uh, and not a lot of amazing scenery, but tomorrow on a tour bus, hopefully, we'll see all the main spaces, we'll go up the CN Tower. Um, you lot will be on the complete ride with me on my day. And then the following day is Niagara. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you have been giving the thumbs up to all the other videos, thank you very much. I love you dearly. As always, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you later. Peace.